hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video if you see my face for the first time my name is precious and i am a youtuber based in cameroon thank you for stopping by and i hope that you stay a part of this family i'm really excited you guys can tell like this is my first ever sit down video since i did my intro and i'm just excited to come and sit here and chat with you guys about some random facts about me so without any further ado let's get right into this first random fact about me is that i'm aquaphobic i dread water when i'm not bathing water or not drinking water i don't have any relationship with water like i am so scared i don't enjoy or fancy when people are going to the beach and all of that me in my mind i'm just scared that's what people are going to have fun and i'm just scared of the unknown i'm always joking that we to concern graphic girl and water but honestly we to concern graphic girl and water the next random fact about me is that i'm short i've met a couple of people who have told me oh you look shorter in person ah ah when did i give the impression that i was a tall girl like when when <laughs> people say that my pictures look make me look tall and I, I don't even know how because I'm the last person who knows how to pause for a picture so how do I look like a tall girl but just in case you've seen my pictures on social media and you think I'm tall I'm not I'm actually a short girl <laughs> third random fact about me is that I don't know how to ride a bicycle I always say that I missed out on a couple of things in my childhood and riding a bicycle is one of them for some reason I never learned how to for some reason i know that we, i do not own a bicycle but people shall learn from their friends for me i didn't know and i did not learn how to ride one i really hate that i don't i wish i did but right now i cannot do anything about it. another random fact about me is that i am obsessed with true crime documentaries i use the word obsessed because that's how much i love true crime documentaries i've been watching them for years i don't think there's any episodes of a true crime documentary that i haven't watched i follow people who do this um, investigative storytelling thing on every social media platform whether it's on twitter no not twitter but like instagram facebook youtube as long as i just see you telling stories hmm, i'm there i really really love true crime documentaries i saw this tiktok guy that said something about how women watch um, true crime documentaries for relaxation and i was just like my table <laughs> because i mean i'm one of those people another random fact about me is that i don't like alcohol and this has nothing to do with my religion or anything it's just a personal decision i don't like alcohol i don't like how it tastes i don't like the aftermath so i don't like it and i find it very insulting or very tasteful when people make statements like oh are you pretending or is it that you don't want to drink today i think it's very very rude because i don't ask you why you drink alcohol i don't think there's a reason why you drink alcohol so why should there be a reason why i don't drink alcohol i mean it's i really think it's very detasteful when people say that i don't know if people say it unconsciously like a joke but if you do to people who don't drink alcohol let me just say it on behalf of them it is rude and i don't like it i think people who don't drink alcohol don't like it either but anyways, next fact about me is that my favorite unusual pet is a parrot. I know. <laughs> this is funny because before I ever knew what a parrot looked like, I used to talk a lot in my house. So they used to tell me, oh, you talk like a parrot. And I did not know. I remember that as a child, my mom had told one of our cousins to bring us a parrot. And then he brought us a monkey. And I'm just like, guy, how does he relate? How did they ask for a parrot? And you bought a monkey but then so we didn't own a parrot at that time and then i had this um as forward to a few years later i met this friend in primary six and they used to have a parrot in their house so every day after school i would go home because i had heard that parrots talk that's why my mom was saying that they should bring us a parrot so that it would be my friend <laughs> so i would go to the house every day and i would say my name to the parrot with the hopes that he would say my name it was never a time when he said my name. So every time we'd go there, I would say precious and never did it, but once did he call my name. And then like a few, I think like after a few weeks, I went to the house one day and then the parrot said precious and I just fell in love. Like I was so excited about it. 
that I always just knew I wanted to own a parrot. So yes, I know that it's not a very usual pet and I don't like pets, but I really want to own a parrot. So when the time is right, I'm definitely going to own one. Next random fact about me is that I'll pick reading over watching TV anytime, any day. I read a lot. You know how people complain about um, this article is too long. It can never be me. I will read it to the end. Like I love to read. Um, as a child, I used to love to read novels a lot, a lot. That's why even in school, my favorite subjects are subjects that you just read. I don't like anything that's calculation because I love to read. I really, really, really love to read. If you leave it to me, we shouldn't even own TVs. Next random fact about me is that Gary is my comfort food. Like, I'm obsessed. I love Gary. I love to drink Gary. But that's not it. <laughs> I love to drink Gary with salt. So I don't get why you put sugar, milk, granite, and all of these things in Gary. For me, it's just water, salt, and I'm good to go. Good to go. Like, that's exactly how I love my Gary. Fact number nine is that I started talking before I could walk. <laughs> Yes, I started talking before I could work. That answers that question. Fact number 10, my all-time celebrity crush is Jim Ike. Like, you guys, I've loved Jim Ike for years. Yes. I know how you people changed and moved your celebrity childhood crush. Me, I did not move up. It's been Jim Ike from day one, and it's still Jim Ike now. I mean, my all-time Cameroonian celebrity crush is local, so Jim Ike and local are my favorite favorite people next random fact about me is that if i wasn't living in Douala, the next place i would want to live in is lagos i love i love nigeria i love lagos and yeah if i had to relocate it would definitely be lagos i know that it's weird even my nigeria friends are like why do you like nigeria but yeah i like nigeria next fact about me is that twitter is my favorite social media app so if you want to catch me it's on twitter it's not even like i tweet or anything but i really just love twitter it keeps me updated twitter is like my morning news paper you know how in those days people used to just parents would wake up and buy newspapers every morning that's how twitter is to me like when i wake up in the morning i go on twitter to keep myself updated what's happening around the world it's on twitter that i get the most information like the other day I was, um, it was on Twitter that I found out that there is a protest in Iran because a 20-year-old was killed for not wearing a hijab. And Twitter is just so well informed. I like, I, I, I love it. Forget the drugs, forget the bands, forget all the violence thing. Twitter is actually a very interesting app to keep yourself up to date with world news and information. So the quirk about me is that I bite my nails. So when I don't have nails, <laughs> I bite my fingernails. Reason why you'd barely see my fingernails for you. Fact number 14 about me is that my favorite food is watermelon. I love watermelons. I love, 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 love watermelons. I love watermelons so much. When it's watermelon season, I'm so excited to eat watermelons. I really love them. They're my favorite. Food. Last but not the least fact about me, fact number 15, is that I am shy. See, I know that I don't give up as a shy person. So I've heard, so I've been told. Even when I say that I'm shy, people are like, oh, even my mom says I'm not shy. But if you know, like, when you know me, you don't think I'm shy because I'm very comfortable. When I'm comfortable, I'm a talkative. I interact a lot. I'm the gist person. But when I'm not, I'm shy. I was telling my mom a while ago, that somebody met me and said, oh, you're very quiet. I was like, eh, who said that? You know, because they, she's not used to hearing. I mean, nobody thinks I'm a quiet person, especially in my house. <laughs> so, but yes, I am a very shy person. Of course, when I'm comfortable, um, I get expressive, um, I talk. But other than that, I've, I'm, I, I think I'm a very shy. I know that I am a very shy person. So that was it about this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked it. If you can relate to some of the facts, please drop it in the comment section. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. 
if you have any video ideas that you also want me to film and talk about it could be sit down videos it could be vlogs drop them in the comment section and i'm going to do just that for you guys thank you guys for always sticking with me again and until next time i love you guys and see you in my next video